All right, Shalom. Shalom. First off, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rachakodash, and Dalbana to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the 144,000 pushing this word with our truth and sincerity, as well as peace and blessings to all the believers of Yahweh Shai. This is the brother Daniela. This is the brother Kavya. A couple of brothers from the GMS Houston campus come together to speak on, you know, how Apostle Tahar <clears throat> gave this year, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. So, you know, just on our spirit to get a quick lesson on Jacob's trouble and, you know, and just explain kind of how, you know, it's going to lead up to Jacob's trouble, you know, because Esau, he's going to come down with great wrath. You know, Esau wants order out of chaos, you know, order out chaos in the Latin, which means order out of chaos. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying and to the point. Let's just going to get straight into it. Begin with um, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Jeremiah 30 and 7. <clears throat> Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. God says that day is great. And we know Jacob's trouble <clears throat> is a period of time. It's not just one day, but it said that none is like it. You know, it means that, you know, it said that none is like it. It's going to be a time like never before. You're not going to be able to, during the period of Jacob's trouble, you can't, you're not going to be able to compare it to anything. It's going to outshine everything, you know, slavery. It's going to outshine um, any concentration camps. Things that happened in the past, you know, all the bad things, all the, the terrible atrocities, you know, the natural disasters, they're going to be turned up to a whole new level, you know. Especially when those missiles drop, say the earth is going to reel to and fro like a drunkard, but you want to make any points on that? That was it. Come, yeah. So, you know, what it says Jacob should be saved out of it. You know, who is that he? Let's talk about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. That makes up the, uh, we make up the 12 tribes, you know, and the elect. Not all of us are going to be saved from this destruction that's coming to America, but the one third, you know, that makes up the elect. You know, the two thirds are going to be left here and burnt up. Well, come. You know, what's what's really going to lead up to to Jacob's trouble? What's going to start it? Like I said, you know, Esau wants order out of chaos. He's going to be coming down with great wrath upon us. You know, that's really going to what's going to kick off Jacob's trouble. You know, him trying to push his agenda. You know, you can't do this, you can't do that. You know, people are going to start realizing, you know. What the hell are you doing? We got to rebel against this man. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be civil war and unrest out here. It's going to be seditions amongst the government. You know, we see that around the world, but that, it haven't came to America yet. But it is going to come to America. Uh, so let's get that Revelation 12 and 12. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. God, and this devil is not talking <clears throat> about the the spiritual demon Satan. It's talking about Esau Edom. You know, he's the he's a physical count, physical counterpart for the spiritual demon Satan. You know, he he works with Satan. You know, Esau doing the bid of you know Satan, but he said you know he's coming down with great wrath because he knows that he have a short time. And, you know, we see that. We see the laws he's pushing. He saw, these elites know they these elites know that we are the true people of the Bible. They see us rising up out here like, man, we got to do something about this. We got to move faster. We got to get our agenda to um come to, to us full. Because, you know, Esau got this a 2030 agenda. And, you know, the, those 17 sustainable development goals, you know, if you just go to the UN website, it, I was going to pull it up. But, you know, we're doing a sit down right now. You can go fact, that, fact check that for yourself. No, Esau has a plan. He wants that plan to be done, not by 20, he wants it to be done by 2030. Not when 2030 comes, they're going to start. They're starting now so that by the time 2030 comes, you know, everything is in place, you know. It's a well oiled machine, but, you know, the Heavenly Father is not going to let that happen. You know, he's not going to let him, him reach the full. He wants everybody chip. you know, he wants the elect chip. That's not going to happen. That precept. Come. This is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Now, who is the he? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who are the crafty? Either the Edomites. Because they want to fulfill the New World Order, which they're going to start it off with that CHIP, the MOTB. You know, the Karagma, written in uh, Revelation 13 and 16, man. You know, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. So, Ultimately, you know, the Most High is going to disappoint, you know, all the plans that these wicked ass, you know, Edomites have, man. It's like, say if you had a cupcake, 
You know, you're getting ready to taste it. You're getting ready to fill your belly, then the most high smack that shit out your hand and then destroy you, man. That's basically what it's saying here, man. You're not gonna be able to fulfill, you know, your enterprise, man. You're not gonna be able to do what you wanna do. Yep. You're not gonna issue out that MOTB how you want it upon the whole world, man. That's it. Kind of, you know, just back to the Revelation 12 and 12, I said coming down with great rap. You know, it's gonna he's gonna be coming down so hard that you know <clears throat> The Archangel, Archangel Michael is going to have to come down here and stand up for us. We're about to get that pre sale, you know. Daniel 12, 12, 12 and 1. This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy, of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never, such as never was seen there, was a nation even to that same time and at the and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book in the book that's it come you know so michael you know in the hebrew his name is maya ka'ala which means who is like the most high this is the archangel of war you know esau's gonna be coming down so hard on us hey the archangel of war is gonna have to stand up for us and help us you say a time like never before since there was a nation of people up on the earth, man. That's crazy. It's hard to imagine that. You know, you're gonna have newly created creatures running around out here. You know, the zoos are gonna be open up. You're gonna have these the spirit of, the, <laughs> of vengeance upon these animals running around people. Dead bodies laying in the street. Things, these things are going to happen. You know, Lord willing, like the Fossil to Heart deemed this year, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Lord willing, that happens this year. Because once that happens, hey, we're not gonna be after work. We're not going back to work. We're not gonna have to how the scripture said we have to depend upon our enemy for the mm -hmm. one of all things. Hey, that's gonna be over. We're gonna be depending upon Yahweh by Shem Shah solely for the one of all things. You know, he's gonna feed us, he's gonna give us drink, he's gonna clothe us, he's gonna keep us clean. Hey, just like he did in the wilderness for 40 years. We was walking around in circles for 40 years. And say our shoes didn't even get dirty, you know. That's what's gonna happen again. You know, people are gonna see the difference upon us. Lord willing, we be able to let, you know, during Jacob's trouble, they're gonna see the difference on us. We're not gonna be bugged out. We're going to be full. We're going to know what's going on. We're going to be looking for your Yahweh shot to come back every day. You know, we look forward to Jacob's trouble to pop off. Well, um, I mentioned those 17 sustainable development goals he has in his agenda. You know, if you look at that face value, just a regular person, you look at those 17 sustainable development goals, you'll think that, because what's the first one? Number one is, um, you know, no poverty. Number two is no hunger. You think Esau is going to try to do something good for you. But this man has never done nothing good for nobody ever. That's not in his DNA to do something good for somebody. And, well, we can end it in this last precept right here, with Sirach 14 and 5. So, right, yeah, come in. I just want to get a precept. Come, come you better. This Revelation 12, the same chapter we just went over uh, in 17. And the dragon, which, you know, the dragon is the uh, Roman Empire, which has been reincarnated as America today. You know, America, in which America is Rome revived. And it says, and the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Right. Which keep the commandments of the Most High. And have the testimony of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, man. And that's talking about the elect. That last part was talking about the elect, man, that keep the commandments of the most high, man. Because that's what Esau's ultimately trying to come after. You know, the Israelites starting with the elect. You know? And what is this testimony? This truth that, you know, has this truth, man. The elect. But that was it, because it's you know, everything is just like the brother saying with the uh, what the his NWO. You know, he needs to take certain people out in order for it. And, and that he needs to, those that are going to, you know, go with his system, okay, good, take the MOTB. Those that are not, we're going to kill you. We, and those that are not going to take the MOTB, we're going to kill you. So all that are, are remaining is the ones that are going to stand. And that's what, you know, Esau wants. He wants those that's going to obey him. You know? But it's not going to work that way, man, because the elect are not going to obey, you know, this, this damn devil. Yep. And Esau just not gonna let you be a part of this new world order. Those sustainable development goals, you know. You think you gonna get some free food from this man? You think he really wanna end hunger? No, you're gonna be eating bugs. And yeah, you gonna have to bend the knee to him. You gonna have to kiss the ring to this man. You gonna have to get that C hip in you. You gonna have to become his property. That's what yeah. he wants. He doesn't want nothing good for you. And with that, you know, with that C hip, you know, you have no more freedom. 
You have no. You have to eat what they say you to eat. You have to wherever you want to go. You can't go by. You can't go on your own free will. You know, Esau has to tell you where to go, man. You gonna have. You gonna be put in a 15 minute city. You gonna be told what to eat, what to drink, what to do, where to work, every anything, man. Everything and everything. He's gonna be controlled by the government, man. Kinda. Hey, that, that's why we seek in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shahar, man. We got. We need a higher power to save us from this devil, man. We need salvation, but um, let's get that Sirach 14 and 5 because, you know, Esau, he's not doing nothing good. You know, he's not even good to himself. So, like I said, if you looked at that, those those 17 goals at face value, just a regular person in the world, you think he wants to do something good for you. No, it's not going to be good for us. It's Ecclesiastes 14 and 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. Come on. He's evil to himself. <laughs> so why would he be good to you? He's evil to himself. He's not good to his people. He's not good to himself. Now, so why would he be good to you, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out here? He wants to, to um, you know, how the scriptures say, accuse you before to the Heavenly Father. Like, look what they're doing. These are your people. Hey, keep, keep reading. Verse 6. Right. And I just wanted to make a point. He that is evil to himself, who will he be good? Hey. Look, um, Esau is destroying the planet as we know it, man. Cutting down the trees, polluting the air, polluting the food, polluting the water. And he fails to realize that his own people have to live here too. So he's just not only destroying you know, the Israelites, but he's destroying his own people and all the people that are in this earth, man. So that's why it says, hey, who, if he even to himself, who will he do good? So... Oh. Verse six: There is none worse than he that in envieth. envieth himself, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. Can't keep reading. And if he does good, he doth it unwillingly, and at the last he will declare his wickedness. Come on, like I said, face value. Look at them goals. You think, oh, he doing good. But he said, if he do it good, he do it unwillingly. Right. And at the end, he's going to declare his wickedness. Because like I said, what do you have to do to get to be a part of those goals? And hey, you got to take that seat here. You got to bow down to his new world order. Hey, that's at the end. You, at the end of the day, you fucked up. And then you're going to become his slave and you're going to be destroyed. You know, talk to you Israelites out there. Because that's, that's the only people who can be saved from America, from this nuclear destruction. They elect. Right. They're going to introduce the the MOTB, which that's ultimately what they want. They want that CHIP issued upon all people, man. And they're going to introduce it as if some good thing. Oh, look, you ain't going to be able to go hungry anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, you're not going to be poor anymore. Yep. But at the end, it's just going to turn around and stab you in the back. You have no more freedom now. Yep. What's the point of living life if you got to be, you can't even do what you want to do anymore. You can't eat a good ass steak anymore. No, you have to eat bug powder and yep. cricket juice and shit. That's not life, man. And stay in a 15 minute city, you've got this universal universal basic income for you that you can't spend on what you want to. Right. Hey. hey. And all you people, <laughs> all you people that want to travel, oh, I want to see the world and see the world. Hey, that's gonna be, that's not gonna be reality to uh to you people, man, once this CHIP is issued, man. You ain't gonna be able to travel. Like the brother said, we're gonna be, you're gonna be put in those 15 minute cities, man. Huh. You know, these pre you got preppers out here. They, they in the right mind state. They ready. You know, they seeing, you know, the government come down. They don't want their guns taken. Hey, that's what's going to cause a lot of civil civil war, seditions amongst the government. Like I said, that's coming because it's prophesied to happen. It's, it's, it's happening around the world, but it's happening happen in America. But it will happen here. You know, everybody, everybody got a gun in their pocket or something. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. It's going to be dead bodies everywhere. The scriptures say, you know, once that famine hits, you know, people are going to be coming to the next door neighbor house, you know, trying to steal food, kill your family, got food over there. Hey, Jacob's trouble is going to be a time like never before. And that's, Lord willing, you know, things happen this year as Apostle Hard deemed this year, 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. But that was really it. I don't got nothing else for you. Is it? Kind of, well, hey, Lord willing, this, this will be the year of Jacob's trouble. Because, you know, what comes after that? Salvation. We looking for Yahweh Shai every day. <laughs> During Jacob's trouble, at any moment Yahweh could come back. Any moment he could crack those clouds. A so-called black man riding a, a UFO that's that's big as a mountain. That's what we're looking forward to. But you know, I'm not gonna ramble. 
if you don't got nothing else, we can end the lesson. Come. Well, we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokhak, Kodash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 who pushing his word without truth and sincerity, as well as peace and blessings to all the believers of Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Shalom.